this is my life. This is what I've been doing all my life, ever since I was young. And I've been captain of my own boat since I was 20, voyaging around the world. And I think I'm the luckiest person in the world. And what I do, I don't envy anyone for. And I know that lots of people have success in a lot of things. But really, to be able to build your own boat and to sail away at sea and to keep going is, is a, I think, an archetypal dream that um, many, many people have, if not most people. And so, in a sense, it's a, a, a voyage of consciousness that I have been on in my life. So, in a sense, I'm carrying on doing what I've always done. Each time that I sailed away, whether it was as a teenager into the South Pacific or later in my first boat that I built and sailed away when I was 20. And then even in the schooner, when I sailed away in the schooner, I always thought that I was sailing away somewhere and everything was going to change and I was never going to come back. I was going to be on an adventure and wind up someplace where I never imagined. and. And I certainly went on adventures and wound up where I never imagined, but somehow always came back. And as for how much it changed me, I don't really know. I don't really think it changed me that much because in a lot of ways, I feel like I am the same person I was as a teenager. I'm still uh, an, an uh, artist, sailor, sea captain, and I've always loved to do yoga and I always caught the fish and caught the rain and ate good food and, and, uh, and had amazing experiences. And so I think that is a good way to say that we'll succeed at going a thousand days nonstop at sea is because this is what I've always done all my life.